Yo, what's up people? Welcome to the video. Today we're talking about the Battlefield 2042 beta. And I want to start off by saying that I saw the tweet that this is a couple of months old built for the beta. And that's kind of annoying because um, in the tweet they said they've already resolved a lot of problems. And I'm like, what has been resolved? And is what I'm playing right now a good representation of the game? Um, I'm not going to lie. And say it's bad because it's not and i definitely had fun playing it but it just feels a bit unfinished right now and it's set to release on november the 19th which is still over a month away um but i just hope like the glitches and everything that i personally experienced are gone by then this goes from rubber banding airplanes to going prone and my character just keeps moving and i'm not even touching the wasd keys uh, while playing on pc um, I was, uh, I had like enemies being on rooftops of buildings, I'm being below them and their character models are on the floor below so I could see exactly where they are, which is just like not fun, it's just weird. Um, I experienced like a lack of footsteps as well. Um, game audio was pretty fun overall, like weapons sound really good and uh, the vehicles sound really fun, but footsteps were for me somehow non-existing. Um, being in like pretty quiet areas and enemies still being able to run up to me and I couldn't hear them behind. And um, this seemed to be working the other way around as well. Me just running up to enemies in like a really quiet area and they're just not reacting at all to what I've like, I'm just running towards you and just making a lot of sound. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the map for a bit. It's a big map and it feels really Battlefield worthy. And uh, that's a good thing because Battlefield is known for big maps, having big fights. And the map feels amazing, especially for snipers. I, I hit a few nice and far shots and uh, those felt really nice to have. Just hitting like a, a like a 600 meter shot. I don't know if that's a lot or not, but for me, it's, it's pretty far away. So it just feels really nice. Um, there's helicopters. I wrote this down because I'll probably f I'm still forgetting some vehicles, but there's helicopters, jets, cars, and tanks and quads, which are nice to have on a map for this size, uh, especially in the beginning when you're like you don't want to go to the first capture point, but you want to go to like one further. If you're gonna walk, you're not gonna make it in time. If the enemy uses their vehicles, it's just it just takes way too long to get to their like to get to those points. Um, so yeah, vehicles are nice. Uh, also really like the, the 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 map events like the the rocket lifting off uh exploding didn't even notice that for the first couple of times it happened um or the tornado just freaking mayhem throughout the map which is um I, I had that a not a lot it just happened a couple of times but when it happened it was really fun and i just i think one time i just drove into it to see what had happened and uh, yeah, you just you just die, <laughs> you just die, but um, that that makes it more interesting. That makes the map feel more dynamic um, and just more interesting to get like to play. It doesn't really add anything except for maybe the tornado, um, but it just it just it makes it more more interesting. Yeah, makes it more interesting. <laughs> Um, the destruction to buildings still feels meh-ish to me. I, I, like, I know I'm old by saying this, but I just miss those Battlefield Bad Company 2 days where buildings could be completely destroyed and uh, when you're on a capture point, like a site, and there's no buildings anymore, it's you have to approach it differently. There's no cover, so how are you going to get on site? How are you going to How are you going to capture a site? How are you going to keep a site? And like I just miss that, but yeah, it it feels okay-ish right now. But yeah, um, just a little bit about the vehicles in the game. The cars, quads, and tanks feel pretty good, um, and like they drive pretty nice and well. So it's not a lot to maybe complain about. They do what they do, and that's good. Um, the helicopters and jets are my my issue with the game. They feel pretty unintuitive and not fun to fly uh i might just be really bad at flying those uh, but i always had fun uh using like an attack chopper or whatsoever to just like just get a lot of kills be airborne have like air fights and 
uh, air fights. How do, how do you call them? Dog fights, I guess. Dog fights. Man, you had dog fights. <laughs> um, but I just didn't have a good time flying around in the beta, which is a shame. Um, but it, like, it might also be a bug that I've been playing around with because um, there's an uh, auto assist mode when you fly it. You have to own PC. It's uh, left shift. Yeah, that you have to press. Um, and I, like I, I don't think I've ever used it, but it still still felt like it was on because um, I would have my my nose down for the chopper, and then uh, it it just wouldn't stay there. It would always level up, and I had to do like a lot of trouble to keep it down and aim at enemies. Um, so that that might have been a glitch, but other than that, yeah, like flying around, just not not a fun time. Um, one thing that I also disliked, and that's that's just like me, is that um, vehicles didn't spawn on the map. You have to spawn inside the vehicles, but like the 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 the, the, the jets and uh, the helicopters are not like in a fixed position on spawn, which is um, I don't know. Like I haven't really played the previous battlefields, like uh, of five and one. If yeah, that, yeah those, um, and I I kind of remember that always being the case that like vehicles would always spawn at the spawn point and you could just if you didn't spawn in them you can always go into them and just still have uh a jet ready for you or just wait till the chopper spawns and get in there so I'm, i was kind of missing that and yeah so just talked a little bit about the sniper which feels really nice to shoot but the other weapons in the game also feel pretty nice um i played a lot with the sniper and uh, the m5a3 because it's future so m4 doesn't exist anymore but just messing around with SMGs, the DMR and the LMG uh, also felt pretty, pretty fun to play with. And I got to say that the gunplay overall in the beta feels really nice. So that that's a, that's, that's a good thing because, uh, yeah, you shoot a lot of people in the game. That's what it's all about, right? <laughs> a major plus point, uh, pun intended, is the plus system for your weapon. Um, it's a really good and cool system. It, re it works really well. It works fast. Um, and you can just swap out uh, components in the middle of a battle, which is maybe a little bit unrealistic, but it makes it more fun to play around with. I had a couple of moments where I was just like um, with a red dot side. I saw some enemies, enemies that were pretty far away and I just switched the side to, I think, I think the ACOG side. I'm not sure though, but uh, it just made it easier for me to hit those further away enemies. Um which is really nice to just do in the middle of battle, just to switch it around. Also with 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 um, um, uh, the 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 front grips and everything, um, really nice. Also, a thing that was really cool is that I found an M A M five. I can't remember the name. An M five A three build that was pretty uh, stable. Also did like a good amount of damage, and even when I was out of bullets. The pistol also feels really nice. It packs a punch, so when you ran out of bullets, you always had a weapon to rely on. You could still get enough kills with the pistol, uh, which is a uh, which is which is a really really good plus point as well. Just having a good sidearm in game, um, not not looking for bullets when you're out of bullets. That's a that's a big plus. <laughs> the only thing that um, the only the only weapon that I the only weapon that I didn't find a good use for was the shotgun. It felt it felt underpowered. Um, so just running around with a shotgun, trying to get close to people, had like didn't really. It felt like the shots didn't really connect nicely, and that's the only weapon that I didn't really like in game. The specialist, the specialist in the game, feel fun ish. Um, but not as fleshed out as I hoped. Uh, I played the beta for a, for a bit though, for a, for a good amount of hours. And I saw the most people play with Falk, which is the healer, and Bruce uh, Webster. Bruce is a different game though. Uh, Webster, like the, the dude with the grapple hook. Um, and I'm also guilty of this because I, like, I, I just mained. I tried all the specialists, but I, I just mained Falk. And it wasn't even to heal other people. It was just to heal myself when I took too much damage. Heal yourself, get back into the fight, and um, yeah, I don't think that's a good use of a specialist. But um, yeah, they, they feel a little bit, a little bit, I don't know, underdeveloped maybe. 
I wish they they had more going for them. Let's just keep it at that. Also, the weapon loadouts. It's it's nice that you can pick whatever you like on on a class because they say their class is like engineer assault. But um, you can pick and choose whatever you like on a class. You can just make your own custom loadouts. Um, the, the, I don't know if I like that system. I, as I said, I'm an old dude. And I still feel like the engineer shouldn't be able to play sniper. Just play LMG shotgun, but not sniper. Um, but that's that's I, I guess that's an old man's opinion right now. I hope that some of the points I've made will be fixed and the overall experience will be better when the game releases. Even with some of the lesser points I've made, I still had fun with the beta and I would probably play it on full release just to have that battlefield experience with no other game really has so yeah we'll see when it comes out uh, thanks a lot for watching see you in the next video and have a good day bye bye